So then I, <clears throat> I was getting these songs coming into my head yesterday as well, so I decided to write down which ones they were, the ones that I could remember were these two. A song called Pop Music from the 1980s, like early 80s, I think. Um, and Don't be, Bring Me Down, this idea of the name Bruce. And I see a Mercedes logo, like a shadow in the trees. It's like a top view of a forest, and inside that forest is a Mercedes logo. I see the word scapegoat, and it's like a metal car logo. And then maybe at the end I see it turned upside down. So definitely is one of the roles that I've been put into as a scapegoat. Very primitive kind of, um, I don't know if I should, maybe I shouldn't use the word primitive, but yeah, it is primitive. It's like this idea of, you know, um, picking someone out and just being, a, you know, um, using that person to basically um, beat up for just because you want to have someone to beat up on, I guess. Blame for things. Uh, I have a vision of pancake mix, old-fashioned in a cylindrical container surrounded by fried chicken. That's a really specific vision to get. It's so strange how specific they can be. The um, first thing I saw was the cylindrical container, knowing that it was pancake mix, old-fashioned pancake mix, and then I was surrounded by this pile of fried chicken. Then a view from a viewpoint on the Bald Hills Road, and I'm trying to explain where it is. I know where it is, but I'm having a hard time describing it. Um, it's right before you really get out into the mountains. So there's lots of trees around, evergreen like spruce or redwood, and beautiful views, that view. And every time I, I remember this view, I think about these ravens, because the last time I was there, there were a bunch of ravens in that area. Um... So now I'm sleepy again, and it's not, I'm not able to read what I wrote very well. Stuff in the aisles spread out again. And old buildings, sort of bell shapes, sandstone colors. Um, so the 70s show was on, I guess, and Kelso said something like, I've just been to the moon. And then the mom and dad discuss romance, go shopping. So I was thinking that maybe this whole thing about Kelso, we had a rented Apollo 11, but it made me think about Kelso, the links with Brett, and this idea of, um, you know, Brett being sent out or something like that, you know, is in this temporary kind of holding state, but then he's woken up and then made to commit suicide. I mean, woken up after a really long time, 16 years, maybe not 16 years, 15 years. And then I just see an image of wheels, like wheels and axles, maybe lawnmowers, maybe um, hot rods, you know, both at the same time and the word high. Next, we have 11 p.m. I see these images again, but I actually saw two versions of it sort of like that. And then that, so again, it's probably the idea of something being slightly open and then being closed, maybe. Maybe making links between these two types of images. So, um, one of the things I was looking at yesterday was um, Citizen Kane, the ending of Citizen Kane. And, and I was making a link between it, one of the shapes that gets thrown into the fire at the end with the sled. Uh, which looks like a musical instrument, but it's about the size and proportion, not the size, but it's the proportions of a Yurok spoon. And then I looked at some of the Yurok Elkhorn spoons, and a lot of them have handles that look like this. So um, it made me think maybe uh, there was a link possibly being drawn as well between this idea of the spoon that was offered, you know, because so obviously the Yurok families that are... Um, be, had been drawn into the sex trafficking operations, were promised something, but it's a trap. So I think that that could apply as well. See the number two. I see a writing desk. I see a Cinderella pumpkin coach. 
Now this, I think again, oh, weird. So I saw a cat in a pumpkin somehow linked up with, I think it was Bruce Luce again. Um, now, 12, this was a series of images and all I got was the rainbows. <clears throat> this I was getting into this um, period again where um, things were being erased. Like I'd wake up with a, some stuff to write down and it was erased like as I was writing it down. Image of some kind of, it's what's dropping people. So um, then I see the words genocide, surveillance, and a battle, sticks. And I see a phrase from, oh, Ode to a Grecian Urn, um, Beauty is Truth and Truth Beauty. Um, and then, what does that say? Plastic. I don't know what that says. Man-made. That's it. So, um, last night I had just as much dreams and everything, but they just got, um, wiped out before I could write them down. So wake up and you know I mean I was even the ones that I have fragments of like there was a lot more that I couldn't even get a fragment out of it regarding the dream about the Bald Hills Road I can't really find exactly where I remember it's a place that has a restroom so and then you, there's got a view so it's clear enough so that you can see a view a lot of these locations are all forested so it might not be exactly this spot but it's something like the spot here. It kind of has this type of view. But um, it's a it's a viewpoint with a restroom. <laughs>